he left a small bump in the back of his car, so he ruins me and my son's life forever my son is 17 and just started driving. He used my car to go to and from school sometimes. I was at home this week when three police cars came in our driveway and officers were banging on our door. Turns out my son rear-ended a vehicle and drove away. To make it even worse, the driver was a cop in his personal truck. It took maybe 15 minutes from the incident to when they came knocking. The hit truck has no damage. It was a tap at maybe 15 miles per hour into his towing hitch. Our civics license plate is bent and there is some bumper damage. The truck driver filed an insurance claim with our insurance. My son admitted fault. There is also video footage of everything. I am beyond freaked out and haven't slept since. I scolded my son but there is so much I can do now. He says he freaked out about hitting an expensive new truck and just drove off. I explained how wrong that was. What I am more concerned about is that the driver pressed charges to teach this kid a lesson. The cops on scene said it's up to the other driver if he wants this charged and he chose to. We were told my son will be formally charged on Monday by the prosecutor and possibly arrested. Fleeing the scene of an accident is an arrestable offense here and it carries jail time too. I'm scared shless. I'm a single mom. I can't afford to pay lawyers to keep my son out of prison when we barely afford rent, food, and bills. I know my insurance rates will be effed for years to come. His too probably. What do we do here? Thanks he was officially charged with leaving the scene of an accident and fined for failure to maintain speed. I spoke to a few lawyers around town and they all agreed there is zero chance the DA will drop the charge. Our county is very tough on crime and they are campaigning on it. The DA refused any agreement. They have lots of video evidence from the truck's front and back dash cameras, a gas station, and an intersection. Camera. Our focus is to try and get probation instead of jail time. I need to come up with a few hundred for the fine and $1,500 for the lawyer. That's in addition to the insurance rates that will definitely go up. As a kicker, my insurance has small accident forgiveness for damages lower than $500. The insurance estimate for the truck's damaged hitch came out to $504. They also want to suspend my son's license, so he won't be able to go from any job that isn't close by. We live in a really spread out area where a car is basically mandatory. I am just so upset with him and his decision making. Trying to keep it together and work our way out of this but it's frustrating. After watching the video I got even more mad. He clearly realized he hit the truck, then drove around it, and off he went. Ugh. The crime he's been charged is a class B misdemeanor. The maximum penalty is 6 months in jail and up to $2,000 fine. The prosecutor has asked for the max on both. We worked with an attorney who told us from the get-go that this case won't be dropper and best we can hope for is a lower punishment. I spent countless hours dealing with this. Our attorney was able to negotiate 5 months in county jail and a $1,500 fine. That's all the prosecution would budge on. The alternative was the full 6 months in jail and $1,000. Attorney advised that we should take it because a judge would throw the max penalty in this county, especially since there's clear footage and really nothing to dispute or excuse the crime. Other lawyers have the same opinion. My son is freaking out and scared shless about jail time and now having a criminal record. He's been crying and just a mess. That's besides the finance aspect, so anyway. Financially, this has put us in a deeper hole than we were before. Now my son won't be able to work during the summer because he'll be in jail. He's missing the college start because of it too. We need to come up with $1,500 fine plus $1,000 lawyer fees plus $350 miscellaneous court fees. I don't have any available credit lines, so I'll have to start borrowing or working an extra job. The biggest unknown is insurance. They might drop us after this. If not, I need to also factor in the premium increase at the next renewal, which will probably be a lot. It's definitely a big lesson for him, and me too I guess, since I never thought to explain he shouldn't drive off after hitting someone slash something.